Which background noise is worse, guys? Inside or outside? You prefer the pallet jack or you prefer the cars driving by? Cars make my brain rattle less, so I'm going with that one. But we have made it to week five of the weekly vlogs. I don't think I'm gonna make it to week six if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, but I just wanted to remind everyone that we do have an order minimum for free shipping. It's $100 for East Coast and Central, and then $125 for West Coast. So if you guys place an order and it doesn't meet the free shipping minimum and you select free shipping, don't be surprised when the order's canceled. And I don't know if we're going to put a paid shipping option up. Uh, I just have it on there that you can contact us if you'd like to do that. To me, it doesn't make sense because it's gonna be minimum $55 flat rate shipping, but you know, why would you place an order for like $30 worth of meat and pay $50 for shipping instead of just placing, you know, $100 worth of meat order, you know, you're just saving so much money. Although, we would make a lot more money if people paid for shipping. It's just, uh, it's just how we're set up right now. So keep that in mind, guys. And it's also for like a safety thing because if you order just a few pounds of meat, it doesn't really matter how much ice we put in there. It, it might not arrive as cold as it should, so. That's that, but uh, let's go inside. I haven't been feeling so good today. Uh, that drive yesterday was pretty hard on me. And then when I got home, I took some supplements I shouldn't have had and, and the kefir was a bit alcoholic. So I, I got like a bad headache and I had to take some Masticum, which has my stomach all messed up today. But uh, as soon as I get one or two more meals in my stomach, I'll feel better. It's just like I'm down here now. I had to come do some work and uh, I'm just completely out of it, so. Unfortunately, I do have like like 60 or 70 orders to fill for the non-meat businesses because uh, we just launched the the organ supplements powders are back and we also got you know the new products on Frankie's natural so that's a little popular which is a good thing you know it's not bad to be busy it's just you know when I'm juggling too many things at once uh, my physical health usually takes a toll so this is the warehouse on Monday we got the ice empty ice bins over here we have egg orders ready to go over there we have ground orders ready to go some more eggs express orders you guys are giving me crap about the smoke alarms beeping uh, i'm gonna ask my contractor buddy if he has a ladder that i can reach those with because it's actually starting to drive me crazy too i just got to uh remember to ask him so yeah over here on the organ supplements now we got the male virility, full spectrum, big brain, immune strength, thyroid support, everything nicely organized. We have the remineralizing tooth powder. Over there is the beef butter moisturizer. And then we have our beefy lips, beef lip balm. One of you guys were talking trash in the comments of the beefy lips lip balm short, saying like, oh, it's supposed to be an appealing name, not beefy lips, that sounds stupid. How about I rename it Luscious Lips and I sell you a special one you can put on your other lips for your boyfriend, all right? How about that one, all right? Guys, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's, it's creative and silly business names and logos, so don't try to guess like me on that one. Why did I come in here? Yeah, we have like an emergency meat delivery coming in tomorrow with uh, the ribeye and stuff. So you guys should not have to wait uh, till next week for your order to come. There are only like three or four orders, but we're getting in the ribeye tomorrow just to make sure everyone gets their stuff. I guess I do have something to show you guys today. This is the chicken schmaltz. I put it at $25. I think that's absolutely insane and, and like criminal for an eight ounce container of chicken schmaltz, but guys, it took me over 1,000 pounds. Now I'm not exaggerating. 1,000 pounds of chicken rendered down into 12 jars of schmaltz. So schmaltz, I need to learn some Hebrew, but uh, <laughs> I just want to make sure that anyone who really wants to try this, you know, gets to. And it's, it's something special that, you know, you're not supposed to down a whole jar in a week. So maybe we'll have some more of this in the future in very small amounts. But as I said, guys, I'll repeat myself, over 1,000 pounds of chicken to make the fat for 12 eight ounce jars of small. So that's six pounds of fat to about 1,000 pounds of chicken. So keep in mind, this is something very, very special. So. Yeah, I should keep a jar for myself. 
you know, guys, we got grass-fed beef tallow, wagyu beef tallow, pork fat, lamb tallow. The chickens just do not hold fat like these other animals do. Uh, you guys hear the background noise. My guys are blowing up the bubbles for the kefir. I mean, maybe when we have like our own farm and I can splurge on the feed, we can get some really fat chickens and have chicken fat and schmaltz. But that doesn't usually happen unless they're giving the chicken like a lot of like soy and corn and, and the chickens get really, really estrogenic and fatty. And then you'll have a lot of schmaltz and chicken fat. It's getting late today, guys. It's already like 2.15 and I think I said it already. I'm gonna try to bang out some of those orders we have to do so that you guys can get everything. And I don't wanna ramble on and on. We were able to cut down the time of the last vlog a little bit. It was like 35 minutes, but I wanna make sure this one isn't too long either. So we have a few meat deliveries, some restocks I can show you guys tomorrow and Wednesday. I spoke to another, oh, now I have about uh, like two dozen Amish buddies. So um, he said the pork should be ready next week. So I should be getting a call from the pork butcher and we should have the pork shares back available next week, which I'm excited about. I think I was telling you guys in the last blog, you know, we've been selling expensive Iberico pork. So now we're gonna have affordable pork share and I'm gonna make sure he, he does it nice and you guys have a variety of pork to choose from. I don't think I said it, but turkey pre-orders, you know, available going strong yeah I'll, I'll talk more about what we're doing this week i guess in, t in tomorrow's vlog but hopefully i feel a little better because guys if i had like if i had days like that once or twice a week i would just throw in the towel like if it happens once or twice a month like i feel like that it's fine i can deal with it but uh not fun see you guys tuesday what's up guys it is tuesday just normal business stuff going on. We got a few deliveries in. Uh, one was mainly we ran out of bottled water because I basically rinse everything with the glass bottled mineral water because I don't like making money on my business apparently. And uh, we also just got uh, delivery of boxes and shipping boxes. So my guys have all the orders packed up and ready. It's around one o'clock just after lunchtime. And uh, we got order of boxes in. So we got a meat delivery in, uh, some oxtails, boning quail back in stock. We got some of the big kind of Thor's hammer beef shanks in. Yeah, mostly some things I'll show you guys later this week. Yeah, we got a bunch of other stuff that just needs to be labeled and portioned and then uh, I need to get either a ladder or a scissor lift before these smoke alarms drive me officially crazy. Uh, good news is we do have more eggs coming on Friday. Uh, I found a completely different farmer that can send us a few hundred dozen eggs. And then our duck farmer is also going to send us some chicken eggs. And our regular chicken egg farmer might send us some, uh, some chicken eggs. We might have a different price because uh, this farmer has his chickens like more free range. So he wanted to charge us more for the eggs. But we'll see. We've been kind of desperate for anything, so hopefully we start getting some eggs in this Friday. Which will probably be sold out by the time you guys see this video on Monday, so sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this ice situation. Now, I'm saving a lot of money on the new dry ice, but now we kind of have to wait for Tuesday delivery, so that's a really big deal from like a perishable shipping perspective. Like, you should absolutely 100% ship everything out on Monday under any circumstance. Uh, I am definitely smelling the sauerkraut in this room. It is permeating through the freezer doors. <laughs> so I'll have to check on that. I think it's ready this week. I, for I forgot what day we, we started making it. Normally in a restaurant you like date and label everything, but bro, I just, I just got an email from um, this older farmer guy. Some of you guys might remember I was talking about him in a vlog. I think we actually did a farm vlog. We filmed there a few years ago or maybe a year ago he just emailed me asking if I could use any beef but um you don't have a butcher up there it's a nightmare I probably have to tell him no I feel bad for the guy he wants he wants me to visit but it's a little far I think the farm's over two hours away I'll see how I feel maybe oh wait no I don't know how f that was when I was in New York I wonder how far he is from me now maybe he's closer I'll have to check so yeah anyway Got a bunch of items in stock. We also got the flat iron back. We got some bone and ribeyes available. 
I got the list here. Let me look at it for you guys. Flat irons back. We got the bavette steaks, oxtail, whole quails we showed you. Bone ribeye, as I said. Beef shank we showed you. Just some ribeye that we ran out of and, and some more whole slabs of beef belly. And then Saturday, we're going to go over and kill some pigs with a new Amish buddy. So we should have the pork share available very soon. He said he can do all the, um, all the charcuterie and sausage products. So I need to make sure to buy some, I gotta write that down, I gotta buy some spices and make some organic seasoning blends again. I'll have to decide what we're gonna do. Probably do a breakfast sausage and, um, and a plain sausage maybe. I don't know. Another meat delivery was supposed to come today, but they were at our Bronx location. They had our new address. They thought actually our new address in PA was us drop shipping to someone. So they took the other delivery over to the Bronx. So we're gonna try to get that in. I think I told you guys already we're gonna have the coconut oil potato chips back too. So pr pretty big Amish delivery coming on Friday. I'm going broke guys, I'm going broke. These Amish people charging me too much money for stuff. Oh dude, last, last night I was like, I was so pissed. FedEx Express didn't come. And I, I checked my phone at six o'clock and my guys are telling me, so I basically had to pay one of my guys to come over and uh, when FedEx Express came over to pack up the, the truck, but I mean, I was gonna come over myself with my stomach. I wasn't feeling too good with my stomach and it was just a pain, dude. I can't, I can't be worrying about this stuff every day, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, we're out of quite a few things on the foods website. I might've been talking about that yesterday. We're out of like the Totomi's cookies, the meat granola, the regular granola bars, the quinoa crisp, and the best. But we're basically like out of every single thing. So maybe my guys will have some time this week to make some of that stuff. And I have to like, I have to go home and film some shorts and some stuff for YouTube and get content up because I've been falling behind on the regular YouTube content. But you know, with with the shadow banning and stuff, it's making more sense for me to start doing like in in person things. You know, if if, if I get shadow banned on. Uh, Hey, if I get shadow banned on social media, I'll start walking around with flyers. I'll really lose my mind. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday. One more Tuesday bonus for you guys. We got a headphone delivery in, but I don't know, maybe there's a miscommunication. I thought I was ordering the same headphones as last time. Uh, these are an AirTube headset. Uh, we were previously selling AirTube earbuds. I guess these are good for like computer and stuff, and maybe some of you guys will like these instead, but they're pretty cheap and affordable, so I guess we'll have to roll with them. We got these black ones, and then we got some in white. If you guys are unfamiliar, normal headphones have like dirty electricity in the ears because there's an electrical tube going up to the ears, but this tube is actually air. So the electrical field ends like, you know, a few inches a foot away from your head. So this is like the healthy way to have headphones all day. What's up guys? It is Wednesday. I'm still in a funk. I've been out of it since I did that drive on Sunday. And uh, not much going on today. We had a small amount of orders to pack up. The, uh, the electric pallet jacks are not charging. The background noise is my guy using a regular pallet jack. I don't know if it's, I've tried several different outlets Maybe it needs to be a certain electrical amp outlet. I'll have to try one more outlet today and see if it works. Main issue now is the heat seal tape on the vacuum sealer needs to be replaced. I bought the tape last year and I guess it was lost in the transition when we moved. Maybe it's lying around somewhere, but it's this like special Teflon tape that you know, they don't sell it in hardware stores, so now I gotta get it as soon as possible and replace it on this machine. It looks like something I can do myself. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much to show you guys today, and uh, we should have more going on later this week. Here we have bone and ribeye steaks. These are one and a half pounds and one and a quarter pounds. Finally have oxtail back. Unfortunately, the price went up, so I think oxtail is at like $17 a pound right now, but we have plenty of oxtail. Flat iron steaks back in stock. These are nice, very tender. 
And then we got the whole big beef shank back in stock. It's like an affordable centerpiece. I'm just gonna grab some lamb testicles for myself. Yeah, it'd be like a waste of my time to uh, tear this place upside down trying to find that tape when it's only like a day or two delivery away. And we don't like need the machine immediately, so have some priorities, right? I'm gonna actually use these new headphones because I've been having like some slight ear issues, having earbuds in my head like for half the day on the computer, so I think these over the the ear headphones uh, might be some relief in that sense because I would have these, you know, earbuds in on the computer all day and then when I went to bed, I'd put uh, noise canceling earplugs in my ear when I went to bed. So, you know, I wasn't really giving my ears time to naturally push the earwax out. So I haven't really had like any serious ear issues. It's just, I noticed like a few times if, if you keep your ears plugged up too long, like your sinuses will clog up too. So maybe I'll try those out. Yeah, we got another box delivery. These are some more glass jars for the female fertility supplement. My guys are making a mess over here looking for if we have enough quinoa cereal to make the quinoa crisp and stuff. Yeah, we're like we're like sold out of all the bars. We don't have any cookie bars besides a small amount of white cookies. We're all out of best bars for the most part. All out of quinoa crisp, all out of pemmican. Yeah, there's only two possibilities. That tape either got thrown out or it was put in like a box with a bunch of other stuff and now we can't find it. I keep forgetting, I wanted to read some reviews at the beginning, but uh, someone was talking about how uh, they had like a headache at work and they felt a lot better drinking the electrolyte mix, but we're sold out of lemon light right now. We got to make some more. So <laughs> that's not the review to read. Uh, we got a five star review for the grass fed beef and gelatin bone broth. First review, literally here eating it as I write this, extremely convenient while being tasty. Had it with a side of rice plus a touch of salt, no prep time. It's like stew, so easy to consume, not much chewing required. You can take it with you and microwave it if anything and you're still eating 10 times better than what's probably around you at work. We'll be ordering again and looking forward to the barley I also ordered yet. So if you guys don't know, we have the uh, beef in beef broth and chicken in chicken broth now. It's basically just pre-cooked stew meat. So you can make whatever you want or just have it on its own. Five star review for the product, pasture raised chicken liver, corn for free. Great quality food and great customer support. You can tell it comes from healthy animals. The liver was firm, not the mushy mess you get at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, I mean, a common theme between uh, uh, a lot of animal products is if they're really fresh, they're generally firm and resilient. Five star review for the Wild Caught Alaskan Cod. Clean tasting. I like, even though I'm not a big fish eater, would buy again. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I, we have a very limited fish selection here. Uh, we just have the cod, the halibut, and the salmon, just like the cleanest fish from Alaska. You know, nothing nothing polluted, nothing fishy, nothing weird. So yeah, I got a bunch of things I should be doing. I uh, just got to fill some orders, organize a little bit. Uh, I got to go through all these spices and see what I have, and then I got to order organic spices for uh, this butcher. Guys, it's honestly, I should start. I'm not going to even say what businesses I should start, but it's, it's such a pain that I have to do everything hands-on because... Yeah, no businesses are set up for like food quality and then they don't know how to how to make things it's fucking nightmare. so i think i told you guys yesterday we will be having some eggs come in on friday we will also be having a very large amount of butter so we're going to have a, a big price reduction on the butter uh so maybe maybe we'll start moving a lot more we'll see and you know so instead of getting in like 50 pounds of butter a week not even 50 pounds of butter a week we're going to be getting in like 300 pounds of butter so there's going to be a significant price reduction, and we'll see if it's uh, if it moves more, if it's as popular to kind of help the Amish farmer out. And then on Saturday, I don't know, I don't know what day we're going to go. We got to butcher the pigs one day, and uh, and then the next day he's going to make all the stuff. I don't know if we're going to do bacon though, because it's like it takes two weeks to make bacon the cure legitimately. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Not really much to talk about. Uh, Wednesday and then Thursday. I think tomorrow Thursday is going to be kind of quiet too. Uh, I got to sort some stuff out and uh, get some things fixed, hopefully, uh, in, a, in a week or two or in a better spot. But 
Even though tomorrow's quiet, Friday we should have a lot of stuff coming in to show you guys. What's up guys? I was sweating so much earlier, I had to take my five layers off. Uh, I wasn't gonna film today because I got caught up some nonsense, but it's like 4.45, my guys leave at four, but they get in at seven, so they work like nine hours, so I'm not really here that long. Not much going on. My guys did make the meat granola, quinoa crisp, and we have the cookie bars ready. Uh, everything will be done by the weekend, so knocked out a few things. We have to get back in stock, and then we should be able to do uh, the blueberry honey pemmican bars and the uh, and the granola bars too. So we'll have the plain pemmican in the big brick, and then the regular pemmican in the the smaller bars. I'm not sure if we can make the plain one in the smaller bars because when you only use meat and fat, like the texture can't go through our bar machine. I got stuck replacing the heat tape on this vacuum machine and it took me like four hours because I got in here at 12 and I started taking it apart. I'm gonna call right now. Who's calling me? Yeah, my Amish buddy calling me, complaining about uh, my margins. <laughs> Doesn't understand an online business. Like, you guys know I'm broke. I've been killing myself for four years and I haven't like saved up any money or, or gotten anything. I'm barely scraping by this whole time. And this Amish kid's complained about what I'm selling his butter for. It's just, and the funny thing is, they have no overhead, no cost, nothing. And I'm trying to explain to him, look, if I sell the butter at this margin, I'm gonna break even. I know it seems like a lot of money for butter, but the the shipping cost and everything is, is very, very expensive. So I'm trying to sort something out. I think I told you guys the other day, um, they might have a lot of butter temporarily because of the, because the, of, uh, of something. Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying before the phone call. I think I was complaining about having to, I was replacing the heat seal tape on this vacuum machine and I, I like lost some screws and it was kind of finicky like, if you didn't have the the metal in the exact right spot, there's like a metal, I'll show you on this smaller machine. So there's like a metal band underneath the heat seal tape and on, on the big vacuum machine, if the band isn't in the exact right spot, it's too tight to screw on, so that wasn't fun. It took me about, as I said, like four hours to get that fixed, so I couldn't really do anything else. Although we didn't have too much to do today. So just gotta make a few things. Uh, we got a meat delivery coming in tomorrow, so we gotta get that set up and put away. Uh, I think we have a lot of oxtail and some beef testicles to put away as well. Chalk steaks and... So my guys will definitely be busy for the next few days. And uh, I got quite a bit of stuff to do, but uh, I wanna go eat something. Oh, no, the only reason I really was gonna film today is like, my brain gets so fried from the magnetic fields from those electric ovens because the corner of that room where the vacuum machine is, is right by the ovens and we were using them today, which we, we don't not usually use in the ovens that much. Uh, so like I could feel like my brain was scrambled the whole time. And as soon as I like got away from the ovens and stopped doing that, I felt better. But it's the main downside of the electric ovens instead of the gas ovens. You're either dealing with like air quality issues from the gas or magnetic fields from the electric but uh, I'm exhausted so I'll see you guys for tomorrow what's up guys it's Friday morning I came down real quick because my guys were having an issue with some settings on a machine so I just came down to make sure they set it right and uh, it's Friday so we got a lot of deliveries in uh, I'm baking bread at home and I didn't eat breakfast so I'm gonna go home real quick and then come back and do some more work later but let me show you guys what's going on so we got meat delivery and the eggs have arrived we got a lot of stuff in here so these are regular chicken eggs uh, we got actually a new farmer so I want to take a look at some of these eggs and try them out and then another farmer so this this is one farmer that still has his chickens out on grass. This farmer has his chickens on grass and corn and soy free feed. So these two are actually different. And then we have our original farmer's eggs, but these are small. Right now his chickens are laying small eggs. So these small chicken eggs will probably be sold out by the time you guys see them, but we're gonna have them in for at least a few weeks. So these are gonna be sold on the foods website, not the meat website. Uh, we can't sell the small eggs on the meat website because it's, uh, it, it's too expensive to ship. Uh, the smaller eggs in that box 
This is just a whole bunch of chicken that needs to be labeled and, and packaged up. Just the corn and soy free chicken, broiler hens. This is a pallet of duck eggs. So we have our regular corn and soy free duck eggs in. Uh, just a very tiny amount of small duck eggs and then we got some fresh quail eggs in. And we got coconut oil potato chips in. Let me show you guys that. What's on my to-do list? Eh, I got some computer work to do and I got a, uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do on the computer. So this is one pallet of the salted coconut oil potato chips. And then we have uh, the mushroom on the right and the salt and vinegar on the left. So we will now have both Wagyu beef fat and coconut oil potato chips available on the foods website. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the chips. The Amish guy would not lower his price. So I'm paying him like $2 a bag plus material costs plus shipping. So like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm making money on these chips to be honest, but I, I just don't feel, I don't like selling chips for more than $5.50 a bag. So. We'll have to just do it for now and then hopefully you know we bring more people into the website in general to uh to order other stuff that i can make a margin on so my guys did restock the meat granola we have the meat granola that's the plain pemmican i showed you guys the other day uh, we got the quinoa crisp back in stock it's been missing for a month or two now but we have it and uh we're gonna make the cookie bars as well we already have them we just gotta bake them and then we should have everything else back next week besides the best bars. We actually do have some chocolate best bars. And we also have to make a new batch of the smaller pemmican, which is gonna taste a little different, less meaty with the new freeze dried formula. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up being a little behind because I'm pretty sure the sauerkraut is done and the water kefir is done and we haven't had time to check it. Uh, so after we get through all this meat today and tomorrow, we still never ground up that chicken meat too, so hopefully, hopefully we can catch up on some stuff. But I'm gonna go home and eat something, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, do some more work. Tomorrow we gotta go kill some pigs, so I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if I'm gonna want to do that in the morning. All right, guys, we are back from breakfast slash lunch. The uh, forklift guy was supposed to come. I'm guessing did he come? So the styrofoam coolers were supposed to come today. It's 1.30 and that takes a while to do. So hopefully they come within an hour or so. So my guys aren't here late. I have a lot of stuff to do and catch up on, but I did want to talk about the eggs a little bit. All those eggs I just sold you guys sold out in like 10 minutes. So, you know, the chicken farmer probably chose the worst time to reset his flock. Um, because he did it about two weeks before peak egg buying season because what happens in the fall is people have all these backyard laying hens that are no longer laying eggs so while they weren't buying eggs from me during the summer then they just start buying eggs again in the fall all at the same time so our egg sales probably double in the fall yet we had no eggs this time so uh, yeah all the eggs chicken eggs sold out immediately i'm sure the duck eggs will be gone in a day or two so hopefully, hopefully the production picks up, but you know, I made some calls to the other Amish farmers to try to get more eggs in because this, this <laughs> you know, we were supposed to have eggs in one pallet a week, at least two weeks ago. Now we didn't even get a fraction of a pallet. So um, having some issues with the egg production, but thankfully some of the other farmers pulled through and maybe we can get them to pull through some more because obviously if we're selling out of eggs in 10 minutes, like, we need to do something, but you know I'm not I'm not willing to compromise on the quality and and sell eggs that aren't you know corn and soy free free range. But uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. So uh, I'm gonna do a little more work down here. I gotta pack some orders for the non meat businesses. I gotta get some stuff ready for my trip to the Amish tomorrow. Uh, but no, every every a lot of stuff came in today, guys. We restocked the dairy. The eggs sold out. We got a lot of meat products back in stock. Um, Ninety three seven. Organic ground beef is only $7.50 a pound. My distributor gave me a really good price on that. So coconut oil, potato chips are back in stock. Quinoa crisp, a lot of, lot of restocks this week and hopefully we can get everything else back uh, next week. So I'm excited somewhat. What, I can't, what can I do about the eggs? I, I, I'm gonna call up some more Amish farmers and see if I can get more eggs because at this point I should have been doing that three, four weeks ago. What's up guys? It is Saturday morning. Without fail for some reason, 
every single time I'm supposed to do a drive in the morning, I never get a full night's sleep. And this time, since like it wasn't that important, we were just gonna go uh, see the pigs get butchered. Uh, I decided not to do the drive. Bad weather, I'm exhausted. Not the best idea to drive. And mainly, uh, I still have these stress fractures in my hands and I can't like do a lot of stuff. Like anything heavy, uh, like lifting up half of a pig. Uh, yesterday was a complete nightmare. I didn't film it because I was about to have a stroke. So I get deliveries here, you know, once or twice a day, full-size tractor trailers. These guys know how to back up just fine into the dock. But this guy didn't know how to back up. Um, he got here at like 3.15. We tried once for about five minutes. I was showing him exactly where to pull up on the street. And I kept telling him to cut the wheel. Um, he couldn't do it. So after about five minutes, there was so much traffic backed up on the street. I had to tell him to just look pull up, go around, let the traffic pass, and let's try again. He comes back around to try again, still can't do it. At this point, I've been like standing in Main Street traffic for like 45 minutes, losing my mind, yelling at this truck driver how to drive a truck. And then what was funny, at the end of the second time of me showing him, I was like standing outside of the passenger side of his truck on like the, the step, and he pointed at the wheel and he was like, can you drive? I was, and I shook my head, I was like, no. First of all, I've never learned to or driven a tractor trailer in my life. And even if I did, I'm pretty sure liability wise with that company, that would be a no go if something happened. But what was really funny was at that point in time, when he pointed at the steering wheel, I was so fed up. I was, I was almost thinking in my head, how hard can it be? Let me just, like, I was about to sit in that company's track the trailer and try to back it up without ever having operated one. But um, overall, bad idea. Uh, what ended up happening was I got really angry and I called up the company. I was like, look, I'm going to either send the truck back or you're going to take $1,000 off the freight bill because and they said yes. So I had the guy pull up to the side of the building and we hand unloaded all the pallets off. And, uh, and then I gave each of my guys a hundred bucks for staying late and, um, and then doing the extra physical labor, but it was a complete nightmare, complete nightmare. That probably messed up my hands even more, lifting those pallets off. And, uh, yeah, no, that was not, not fun. Uh, that I was like thinking of just taking some tractor trailer courses for the hell of it, but like, I don't have the time to really do that but at that moment was like all right maybe i maybe i should have maybe i should have but um i know that happened last night and then i didn't sleep that well so i could have probably just got up and drove over there this morning so we were supposed to be there now cutting up the pigs but i'll just go because he's, he's gonna kill him today and hang him up and then like monday we're gonna cut him up into meat so i'll just have to go by on monday because i did have some stuff to bring him like some special salt and things for the meat made an offer on that farm. We'll see if they respond. Only thing that sketched me out was uh, the, uh, they valued some of the equipment a little high, which didn't make any sense to me, but. Yeah, I don't know what I did. My hands literally just hurt, like not even doing anything, just statically. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe an hour or two of work down here, and then I'm gonna go back home and have breakfast, and maybe I'll come back later and do some more work. I know I mentioned it in the vlog, but I don't know if I said it yesterday. A larger amount of butter is now $9 per portion. So we were selling the butter at two, at twelve fifty for half a pound. Now it's $9 for half a pound, which is just as good as basically any high quality raw butter source online. So if you guys want to stock up on butter or get more butter now at an affordable price, uh, we have it. But yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, Sunday, I don't think. Uh, there's anything that's like new today. Yeah, bro, if every week was like this, I would be on the beach permanently, permanent vacation. Not fun. I did give my, give my guys way too much money for that yesterday, but just whatever, I was over it. What's up guys, it's still, uh, still Saturday. <laughs> my leg fell asleep from sitting at the computer. Around five o'clock, 
I came down earlier in the morning around 9, worked till about 12, went home to eat something and then came back. My stomach actually hurts by my belly button, uh, which I believe is a hernia. <laughs> it's not that bad, so I'll make sure 100% to take it easy tomorrow. Uh, we got some stuff ready for organ supplements. Uh, the main thing I did today was I fixed all the styrofoam coolers and stuff in the warehouse myself. Half with the forklift, half me having to put the pallets of coolers back onto the wooden pallet. Because uh, we have to take them off to unload them off the truck. So that's probably what the hernia is from. Uh, but we got all the orders printed ready for tomorrow Sunday to be filled in the freezer. And uh, I'm just exhausted. I got to go home. I got to eat. I got to do like two, three hours of work on the computer. And I got to film a video for tomorrow Sunday because I haven't been keeping up with the YouTube stuff. Unfortunately, YouTube does not pay. And uh, when I'm doing this physical labor all day and then doing this... You know, it just never ends. I basically work every waking second, and then because my health is not 100% from the liver damage, I'm either I'm just resting. So, it, I think I've said this before. If I was like 100% healthy and felt good, it wouldn't be as bad. I still wouldn't really have time to do anything, but at least I'd be able to relax for a little bit. That's not the case. I'll show you guys this stuff tomorrow because my my guys left a little while ago. Everything's kind of shut down. Um, I just wanted to print the orders for my guys so I didn't have to do it on the computer overnight. Uh, yeah, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. What's up, guys? It is Sunday. Normally, we just pack up orders today. So that's what my guys are doing. They're in the freezer right now, getting all the meat stuff ready. And then we're going to do the egg orders so that we can send everything out ASAP on Monday. The foods orders are probably gonna have to do on Tuesday. This is what I was doing yesterday by myself. It didn't take too long, it's just when that truck couldn't back up the dock, we had to take all of these off the pallets. They're not that heavy, I think. I mean, you couldn't lift it up by yourself, but it's light enough that you can kind of toggle it and move it easily. It's probably like, I don't know, 100 pounds maybe. It's nothing too crazy. However, heavy enough to, for me to hurt myself. So we had to put each of these back onto the pallet to move them on here. So that's why I asked that company for a thousand dollars off the freight bill because the amount of work it takes to get everything off the truck, get it over here by hand, put it back on the pallet. It's just, it's adding, you know, five, six hours of, of, of work and it's just not fun. But hopefully never again. Hopefully we never have to do that again because the next time that happens, I'm going to buy another forklift and put it out uh, by the uh, by the street level so I can just lift stuff up to the dock. But that's what I was doing yesterday. Today, I'm going to make the lemon light and get some organ supplement stuff ready. We didn't have time to check the fermentations like the sauerkraut stuff, but it like doesn't matter if it goes another week. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it is next week. And hopefully it's okay. If not, I guess we'll try one more time. But uh, it's not that easy to uh, to keep the temperature correct in there for the kefir and the uh, and the fermentations. We got all the fresh Tatomi's cookies ready to go into bags for you guys. We usually do a fresh batch every two weeks as long as they keep selling, so they stay as delicious as possible. These are just some potato chips I'm taking home for lunch to test out. We got the coconut oil chips back in stock. Yeah, kind of a mess over there. We got a lot of stuff now on organ supplements. All the canopies are in stock. We got the queen canopies back. Those are the new headsets that you guys saw in the video on Sunday about the diet. I actually need to take home some of this copper sheeting because I'm putting it in the walls of my computer room. Even though the radiation's kind of low, uh, I'm gonna get it set up. I'm just going to take home like four of them and then that, that should be enough. These are the coconut oil potato chips. My guys have to label them. We just got in all the fresh dairy ready to ship out tomorrow. I think I told you guys a few times our farmer had a surplus of milk. So we have a lot of the A2A2 A2 raw butter here. That's all butter. That's all butter. All of these eggs are going to be gone by tomorrow. This is our... <laughs> 
This is our lamb share that never sold. That has to go in the garbage, unfortunately. We got the big beef shanks back in stock. I showed you guys the tribe last week. Something we've been trying to get for a few years now. Finally have it. The beef picanha steaks are back. These are probably like the best bang for your buck steak that kind of exists because picanha is really tender and it has a nice fat cap on it. We got the five pound slabs of beef belly back in stock. A little more affordable than the portion. Flat iron steaks are back in stock. This is a, a very tender cut if you guys have never tried flat iron. In addition to the regular picanha, we also have the Wagyu picanha. More fat, more tender. Same with the Wagyu tenderloin. This is probably one of my favorite cuts of meat in general, Wagyu tenderloin. Look at that. Wagyu ribeyes are up here. These look pretty good. I try to make everything affordable, guys. All the Wagyu is like 20, 30, 50% less than what you're gonna be paying online at other businesses. The portion beef shanks are back in stock as well. Plenty of chicken restocked. We got a fresh shipment in the whole chickens, the breast, thighs, wings, drumsticks, organs. We have everything. I think there's just a small amount of chicken skins left. These might be sold already. Plenty of beef liver, a ton of oxtail. I wish we could have got that at a lower price, but it's expensive now. Some venison stuff over here. Running low on prime rib roast, gonna restock before the holidays. All right, I'm gonna take home some testicles for myself. I guess we do have some bison. I'm not wearing uh, enough layers for that today. It is ice cold in there. This camera didn't fog up the uh, the first time we were in the freezer, but it's definitely way colder now. It doesn't fog up as bad as the other one. Like, at least you could still see me. But I think that was everything for this week, guys. And since the camera is fogging up, uh, I guess we can wrap up the vlog for this week. A lot of stuff back in stock on the foods website as well as the meat website, guys. Be sure to check uh, them both out. Is this a, just a constant indicator of the poor air quality we have in the States? Reminding you guys by fogging up my camera. But I have some work to do today myself and I don't want to be here until like five or six o'clock again. So uh, I will see you guys for the next vlog. Hopefully some more new things coming up this weekend. We can find a decent supply of eggs. Thanks for joining guys, frankdistrofound.com to see all my interesting businesses. Check them out.